On today's episode of Lake Hill City Birds, we're taking a road trip to the Hawassi Wildlife Refuge in Birchwood, Tennessee. I used to go here with my grandma to see the sandhill cranes. The sandhill cranes are usually here between mid-October and February, and thousands of sandhill cranes migrate to this area of Tennessee. This is my first time visiting since my grandma, her name was Tommy, passed away. And I will admit the tears started flowing as those beautiful birds put on a magnificent show for me. I've been out here a lot over the years, but never saw this many cranes at one time. And all I could think about was how much Tommy would have loved those beautiful birds. I was glad I decided to go. This tall, long-necked, and long-legged bird is overall gray with a large tuft of feathers at the rump. The top of the head is red, and it's actually red skin, and the cheek is a bright white. Young birds are overall gray and brown, and they have a non-contrasting feathered head. Males and females look alike, but the males are somewhat larger. All species of cranes fly with their necks outstretched. The length is 4 to 5 feet tall, wingspan is 5 to 6 feet, and weight is 10 to 14 pounds. The sandhill cranes migrating in Tennessee make up a large portion of the eastern population. The eastern population of sandhill cranes migrate through and winter in portions of Tennessee and is considered the world's second largest sandhill crane population. Tennessee has wintered an average of over 29,000 cranes over the last five years. Two areas serve as primary migration and wintering areas, including the Hawassi Wildlife Refuge, where thousands can be seen at one time. Also, the Hop-In Refuge and surrounding lands near Real Foot Lake in West Tennessee attract several thousand sandhill cranes as well. Okay, we're pulling up now. I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to get some bird footage. I'm going to leave the original audio so you can hear those loud birds.
Well, I hope you enjoyed these magnificent sandhill cranes. I know I did. It was 17 degrees and I was out here over 30 minutes getting video and photos and enjoying these birds. There were a lot of other smaller birds that I didn't get photos of because they are just too quick. But this is a great spot to sit and do some bird watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more do-it-yourself projects, bird videos, gardening, and jewel-worthy human and doggy treats. Y'all have a blessed day.